Well, uh, this Chinese story is very interesting, I hope. Once upon a time, very old Asian time, one traveler just dropped into the small restaurant. Okay. So he is coming from somewhere and just to see this restaurant. Then Toravera suggested to the owner, please remove okay, your chimney and firing. So there are some woods here. Okay. Please save, remove wood from the fireplace in order to avoid fire in the restaurants. So, in the worst case, you are restaurant to fire. So he suggested, but owner says, I don't need your suggestions. You don't eat to my home, to my restaurant. You are just passing through and give suggestions. I was working like this for a long time. Please go ahead. Okay. I don't need your suggestion. Then, another day, when other travelers came, the shop was under fire. Then, this traveler helped and jumped into the fire and carried the many things that help it. And he also something injured. Okay. Then, owner of the shop extended many, many thanks, thanks, thanks to help. And also give the good food, good wine, good drink, also good food and good gifts. Show them many thanks. Okay. Then, people watching this behavior of the owner, then those people are laughed at him. They said that the shop owner doesn't know, understand, doesn't understand which traveler is more contribute. Okay. Do you think which traveler is more contribute, more variable? Second one? Of course, first one. First one. Okay. But human nature is always tend to emphasize work hard to solve existing current problem. Oh, we have a problem. Now solve it. Oh, very good, very good. Okay. But the more important is a forecast and prevent future problems. Okay. But this is unfortunately the human nature. We are not so much emphasis, not so much pay attention for this part. Only for the current in front of you. But those who have the wisdom Always see the future. Wisdom. We need the wisdom. For example, I respect one CEO or leaders in the world. Carlos Ghosn. Nissan. Maybe you know the current news. Yeah. Nissan tried to be 15% in the market share in India. That is the decision. And why the Nis he was asked, why? You invest too much, so, so much in India. He said, India is going to grow definitely. But other countries, sometimes good, sometimes not good. He said, exactly like this. Those who have wisdom always see the future. 
But unfortunately, human nature is only to see just in front. India now needs wisdom. Of course, you have a wisdom. Your country has a 5,000 years experience, don't you? You have, you have great leaders, like Mahatma Gandhi. You have a wisdom. Please see the future. That, that is one lesson learned from this story. Another lesson is an outsider can see future much better than insider. Those who are inside cannot see, but the outsider go around to see more objectively. Outsider can use a logic. Those who can inside more, mainly emotion. Emotion also important, but you need both logic and emotion. Then VSME, our thousand VSME is outsider jump into the inside. Then work together with emotionally with the tier two companies. This is tier one. Okay. Okay. Oh, sorry. Tier one company jump into tier one company objectively can see the tier two. Jump into tier two. Then emotionally touch together. Do demonstration instead of check and control. This is the secret of success of this program. You can eliminate daily problem, like a delay, pro quality problem, etc. Only to prevent the occurrence of the future problem by outside view. This is the essence of the thousand VSME activity. Why don't you join and to practice and use your wisdom? Thank you very much for coming. Such a thousand, hundred people, but let's become a thousand. Thank you, Thank you very much.